Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's get this party started. This is my ultimate Vault Hunter mode walkthrough. This will be a highly strategic walkthrough to help players of all skill, level, skill levels and, of course, to help compensate for the fact that I'm doing this with no legendaries. Um, my starting loadout is going to be the Trespasser, the Buffalo, the Lady Fist, and the Good Touch. And for more information on that, please watch all of Part 1. It'll explain all about the, all about the weapons. Um, the rules of engagement and stuff like that there let's quit select our character again to get the ultimate vault hunter mode walk or option there we go ultimate vault hunter mode continue we are out of true vault hunter mode we are out of true vault hunter mode this is the real talk, mccoy Canadian. this glacier is run by a bandit named captain flint the jerk kept me as a torture play thing for a few months. We play games like dodge the blowtorch and don't get dunked into the pool of acid. I was really good at the first one. Attention, people of Pandora. Handsome Jack here, offering a million bucks to whoever brings me the head of the vault hunter who just arrived in Liarsburg. Oh, and I'm still offering a reward for Roland, the mass murdering leader of the Crimson Raiders. Good hunting, bandits. <laughs> Okay, my bully monk buster is slag and the good touch works really well. If you're following this walkthrough, whatever slagging weapon you have, my slagging weapon is the lady fist. And of course, try to go for crits because there's a bonus on the good touch for critical hits. I like to stay up here because, uh, <laughs> for that reason. Okay, I'm gonna have to dance around the commentary. This is something I'm not used to because my, all my practice friends didn't have to do um, my live commentary. Um, or rather, dance around the dialogue. Okay, so don't go down there. Um, you can advance to the next objective, which is to get claptrap to open the gate by going over there. You don't have to go down. <clears throat> something I never realized before. Stay up here. Go all the way along here, go all to the very edge, ignore that, you can go right here and this will advance the objective. There. Once you see Claptrap banging on the gate and it'll go over and work the keypad, you know you got the next object or rather the next waypoint, however you want to call it. Then you can snipe three bands from up here. Hey, Hammerlock! Spectacular! First Captain Flint's bandits attack, then Claptrap shows up! I must have been horrifyingly cruel to puppies in a previous life to deserve this kind of treatment. I say, Vault Hunter, could you kill Flint's men for me? Okay, the first shot I always take with the buffalo. And it has a nice red cross here. Got a proposition for you, when Vault you Hunter. use um, deception. You up, we'll just shoot you in the head. It'll be quick, clean, and a hell of a lot less painful than what handsome Jack will do. As you can see, it totally kicks ass, really punches up the damage. Okay, once those three bandits are down, you're going to have to go in there to get um, the objective to advance, or rather the game to advance to like, the next um, waypoint. Best thing to do is jump down on this roof right here. Guy always spawns there. As you can we're getting over 1 million damage with the buffalo. Here come the bully mongs. Go after them first, highest priority. Slag. Good touch.
And that's all she wrote. Restore Claptrap's sight. First, I shall shut off the electrical fence for you. Please stay back, Vault Hunter. Let Claptrap go first. I knew Hammerlock would come around eventually. Me and him are like two peas in a pod. Two bullets in a bag. Two cannibal midgets in a fat guy's ribcage. <laughs> Apologies, but when Claptrap speaks, I feel my brain cells committing suicide one by one. I shall be out directly. <laughs> I've forgotten how frustrating it is trying to squeeze commentary in between all the blathering dialogue in Borderlands 2. Okay, I just want to mention that if you're really unlucky and Sky Hunters start attacking Lyrisburg while you're doing all that, completely ignore them. Just go, just carry on with your objective, kill all the bandits and bully monks as fast as possible because as soon as you kill all the bandits and clear out Lyrisburg, Lyrisburg the Sky Hunters will fly away. So. Don't worry about that, otherwise you're in for just one holy hell of a fight if you try to take on the Sky Hunters, okay? So just try to find cover somewhere, ignore them, continue to clear out the bandits. Many thanks for disposing of them, by the way. To survive a direct run in with Hanson Jack and defeat Captain Flint's bandits, unheard of. I'm headed to Sanctuary myself. From what I hear, the Crimson Raiders there could use a hero like you. Now, if you could hand me the robot's eye, please. Now, I need only connect this to this, and... That should do it! Ha <laughs> <laughs> I am alive! Oh dear, he's talking again. Megan! Now I've got my eyesight back! And you're far uglier than I remembered! Time to join up with the Crips and Raiders in Sanctuary! This glacier's full of nothing but murderers and jerkbags! Like that hammerlock dude! I'm standing right here. Here, yeah, dude. Now that Lyersburg is cleared, I might as well turn on the main power. This town's full of things that may be of use to a go-getting slayer of men like yourself. Minion, roll out! I see our fearless leader Jack is looking for it. Charming fellow, isn't he? Spouts drivel about bringing peace to the frontier, then shoots unarmed men, women, and children like it was going out of style. Ah, I'm spouting exposition again, aren't I? Apologies! Ah, there you are. Hello, mercenary person. Look, <laughs> killed everyone in lies. I don't think I've ever heard him say that before. While Bully Mong should lollygag about the place, disrespecting the memories of the former townsfolk. If you could clear the town of them, that would be most gentlemanly. The objectives okay. on your HUD pertain to your active mission. You can change your active mission by using the mission log in your Echo device. For freaking sake, Claptrap, it's ultimate Vault Hunter mode. I think we figured that out by now. Um, so I never expect much in this as a reward for this. I actually picked up a glass mod somewhere. Okay, and... We're looking for a singularity. If you see any singularities, hang on to them. Well, at least one, anyways. Here's the one right there. Unfortunately, the fuse time is too long. Um, there's another one. I'm going to hold out for... A... Oh, here we go. Nice and cheap too. Okay, Bing sold. I'm sure we'll and let's ammo up. Lovely. Done and done. Bully monks, clear out the town, the graveyard, and the pond. Let's start with the graveyard. <gasps> This way to take it on is jump on top of this mailbox here and then jump on top of here and jump on top of here. This provides you perfect cover for the graveyard. And same deal, slag and then good touch. He 
He slags. Down and out. One thing I forgot to mention in part one is slag actually lasts twice as long now. In lower difficulty settings, um, slag only lasts for 8 seconds. Now, slag lasts for 15 seconds. He's down. That bugger got me. Alright, we'll just use a little Innervate. Since we have points in Innervate, every time we cast Deception, we recover health. So if you see me casting Deception for apparently no reason at all, that's why. The Monglets I usually just try to gun down with the Lady Fist. Don't worry about, like, switching to a non-slag weapon. You're dead. Okay, here, there's a whole bunch of monglets, just gun him down with the, the lady fist. Should take care of him, no problem. Make sure you take care of the ones coming out of that hole first, that's their priority. They'll flank you. And the lady fist is great for gunning down. Um, the rocks, eh? That they throw at you. Most efficacious! Bullymongs will think twice about raiding peaceful cities in the future. Hopefully. Okay, come on. Vlad off assault rifle with a scope. Make Captain Flint's death as prolonged as possible, would you? Quite the douche. <sighs> the worst one. Okay. Whatever. All right, take on these two missions. Why don't you? Want to take a look at the assault rifle you gave us? The really crappy assault rifle you gave us. It's hardly worth keeping in our inventory. Yeah, this is worst case scenario. This is useless. Um. Yeah, I'm not even gonna keep it. Sorry, oppressed rifle, as much as I love Lados, you are not. You don't make the cut. Okay, let's ammo up. Pistol ammo, for sure. And then everything else is good. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna do. Bad hair day to see if we can get a sniper rifle with a higher fire rate because our highest fire rate right now, I believe, is 1.6 on the Morning Star. And just as an option to have a, a high, sniper rifle with a higher fire rate, so we can get like you know, just as an option, let's do the bad hair day mission. Plus, there's a chance we'll get a ridiculously high damage muckamuck. Could go as high as 27k. This is gonna be um this is real real pain. 
trick if you let me just let him finish talking here. Harvest bullymong fur. You'll need to rip it from their hides with your bare hands. Just weaken a bullymong with gunfire, then finish him off with fisticuffs. Yeah, basically you have to kill four bullymongs with melee attacks. I figure the best thing to do is spec into melee. So let's do that right now. It's gonna cost us thirty thousand bucks. It's okay. We got two million. Five in the Killing Blow, five in the Iron Hand, five in the Follow Through, one in Execute, this is going to help out a lot, five in the Backstab, five in the Resurgence, and of course many must fall. And before I forget, let's switch over to this class mod here. What I want is my cooldown rate to... I can get it down to around 10 seconds by switching over to these two, this class mod and this relic, which is great. Okay, now let's put plunk points into headshot. Precision, because we're going to be using mostly uh, pistols. One shot, one kill. Um, this might not be that useful, but what the hell. Don't put any points into board because you might accidentally kill bully, bully monks behind the one you're targeting, um, which you don't want to do. Let's put one point there and three remaining points into kill confirmed. There we go. And we're going to use mostly the lady fist and law because I have a nice scope on this law. All right, slag him with the lady fist, then bring down their health with. The law. Once we get a bully monk's health down, we can turn on deception, and we'll get a target. We'll be able to like rush forward using the execute skill. Even if you're out of range, you can point at an enemy and tap melee, and you'll rush forward. And you can do that repeatedly until your deception runs out. And that way, we'll just kind of like do this. This hit and run, take down um, the bully mong with execute, and then because we did a kill, we'll extend our deception by a couple seconds with many must fall, and we'll use that couple seconds to get away and rinse and repeat. So basically, it's going to be like this hit and run. We're not even going to pick up the bully mong fur until we've got three or four. So it's kind of like this hit and run strategy. You'll see it works really good because otherwise they just make mincemeat out of you. Total mincemeat. It's it's just hell. You cannot go in there and go toe to toe with them. It's, it's insane. Forget it. Not unless you got some real kick ass, um, legendary melee melee weapons, which I don't. Okay, so I'm skipping all the bandits. Skipping those bandits. Skipping those bandits. Just go right past them. I want to farm bully monks in this area here, and we'll use this little rise as cover. Okay, here we go, game on. And it's a little monolith, that's great. Um, what am I doing? What else we got? Hardball. Okay, good. This is a good configuration. The one I really want is the Monglet, because he's like, okay, but this guy wants to play ball here. Yep. <gasps> These guys are really sneaky too. They run defense for each other. Exactly like that. In addition to making for a spectacular hat decoration, I shall study the fur for my almanac about the creatures of Pandora. Hit and run. Okay, so there's one bully monk fur right there. Just leave it alone. The bully monk 
is injured. Now deliver the coup de grace with your melee weapon. <laughs> Hit and run. <laughs> Okay, you got another one there. Okay, I'm trying to sink look the Mongol too. Those are really easy pickings. Like I said, they it's like they run defense for each other. I apologize, I wasn't clear enough. <laughs> you see, you'll need yeah, to I know. We know, we know. Sure, you could try to steal the fur from a bully monk's dead body, but where's the fun in that? Blatantly unreasonable. Probably get this guy. Oh. Anyway, where are you going? Uh oh. <laughs> the bugger jumped right. Okay. Yeah, they can get really sneaky. Here we go. Got him. Great. That sample will do admirably. Find me a few more if you please. Okay, one more. And then we will collect those other two. Just give it up, ruthless bully mong. Rob it! Bugger. I hate that, eh? Um, they don't throw the uh, the rocks or the ice things right at you. They throw it off to the side. They kind of like guess where you're going to dodge. And it, <laughs> the bugger really tricked me. By the way, completely ignore... Hang on. Okay, some sirens going off outside it always completely distracts me. Yeah, completely ignore Sir Hammerlock when he says go for the bully mong now. Forget it. You gotta take him down a little more. You gotta bring down the health really low. That should do it. There we go. Ooh, are you collecting bully mong fur? I love so! Hammerlock wants to give you a sniper rifle. Wonderful. Here we go, we got them all. And that's how you do it. Hit and run. Okay. Give me a makamak. Come on. Give me a makamak. Please, give me a makamak. It's a shin hook. man look far more badass than he deserves. I'm referring to myself, of course. Dang it. Oh well. <laughs> At least it's a high fire rate. I'm not sure how useful useful this will be. Yeah, we can stack up those stack up the critical ascension a lot better with this. The only problem is the recoil. Of course the Vlad off would be much better. Anyways, we'll see how things play out. That is it for part two. Part three, we're gonna basically start pushing towards Captain Flint. Yeah, do the bad, um, yeah. I'm wondering whether, oh yeah, I wanna do shielded favors. Yeah, I definitely wanna do that. Cause we're gonna buy a, sh we're gonna buy a shield anyways. And we might as well earn some XP for it. Yeah, that's what's coming up next. All right, so that is it. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, all right? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.